Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of block-based theme development with full site editing in WordPress. So block-based themes are built using HTML templates and template parts. The HTML templates reside in a directory called block templates and it follows the standard WordPress template hierarchy. The difference is that it is an HTML file instead of a PHP. And because it follows the same template hierarchy, index.html corresponds to index.php in WordPress, single.html corresponds to single.php and so on. And then you also have optional template parts which are placed inside of block template parts directory. So these block template parts can be reused throughout the site. For example, if you want to build a header, you can create block template part called header.html and for footer you can create footer.html and place it inside of the block template parts directory and then finally you can use these template parts inside of your block templates each of these templates and template part contain block grammar which i will explain to you later in the series now block html is generated in and exported from the site editor and i will show you the demo later in the series it can also be added to the themes HTML file manually. Now, before we go ahead and create our first block template, let's go ahead and add an experimental theme JSON file, which is basically required for the global styles. So as you can see, it says here, experimental theme JSON file is used to make it easier to style blocks by setting defaults. So this file basically is where you're going to define the global styles. Not only that can be applied to the entire site, but also specifically for blocks. If you want to add a style for a specific block, like a heading block, you can go ahead and define that here as well. So for individual blocks, as well as for the global style. So this is the, the place where you put that information. I'm going to cover all of this in a separate topic, but this particular video is related to the block templates we're just going to add that we're just going to add this file because that's required for your block template to work properly so let's go ahead and add a file called experimental theme.json remember that in future uh, the, the experimental word will be removed it'll just be theme.json so let's go ahead and Paste just to settings and let's keep the defaults to an empty object for now and we'll come back to it later and I'll explain to you how this whole thing works. So let's focus on the uh, block templates for now. So let's create our first block template. In order for us to do that, all I have to do is just create a directory called block templates and inside of this, let's create a file called index.html. Remember this is index.html and not index.php. Okay, now the moment you do that, you'll observe that if I go ahead and hit refresh, congratulations, you got your site editor. So you now, you can now see this menu item site editor and when you click on it, you'll notice that you have your global style on the right hand side. Of course, these are the default ones. And then you have this template called index available. If you click on browse all template, you can see that the index template is now available. It is currently an empty canvas, which means that, um, you know, there is nothing inside of it because I could, because as you can see, you know, it's completely empty. So we can start painting it. We can start creating a design. So usually in any site, the main things that you will require would be the header and the footer. And as I explained to you earlier that the header and footer are actually the block template parts. So inside of my block template, which is index.html, I would like to include a block template part, which will be header and footer. So let's go ahead and create our first template. In order for us to do that, we just click over here and then look for template part. So here it is, template part, and you click on it. And then it asks you, do you want to choose from an existing template or would you like to create a new one? Now, I currently don't have any in my project. If I did, I would have probably used that. I'm going to create a new one. So I'll click on new template part and then it asks you 
what name you want to give it to. So I like to give it a name of header. Now, if you click on this uh, settings icon, like so, now you'll see that you get an option to rename it. Currently it's named as untitled template part. So let's name it as header, okay? And then, now I'm sure you'll agree to me that the header needs to have more semantic HTML tag which is header and not div. So as you can see, the default element is div, but you have certain options available here. Like you have header, main, section, aside, and footer. Let's go ahead and stick to header because this is my header. And if you want to add any additional CSS classes, you can do that. Let's go ahead and add site header. It's so exciting that all of these things we used to do that by coding, right? And now, all of those things are changed to just doing it in the editor. And, and, and you'll notice that once we are done with all, all of it, it'll be as simple as clicking a button and it's gonna generate the HTML for it. And we can directly use that in, that in our theme. So it's as simple as that. So let's continue. So now inside of that header, I would like to have a group block. And I would like to have a group block. And inside of this group block, I would like to have columns. And let's go with um, this one, 3070. In the first column, basically, when you build your site, you generally put either the site title or you put the site logo. Now, the good news is that we've got both available. So you can either go for the site logo and you, you can also go for the site title block. These are dynamic blocks uh, that are already provided to you with the help of the Gutenberg plugin. So I'm gonna go with the site title. So currently my site title name is blog based theme demo site. And I'm gonna go with the, uh, your, now you're also going to need to have the sat tagline. The site, you're also going to need to have the site tagline. So I'm going to click on add block and then look for the site tagline block. As you can see, I've got that block available as well. So I'll click on that, it's automatically pulls up the site tagline of the site. Okay, and then on the right hand side, we would need the navigation, which is your menus, right? The good news is that we also got a navigation uh, block available, and we have an option of vertical as well as a horizontal one. So let's go with the horizontal, let's go with this one. And now it gives you a couple of options. Do you want to add all of the pages or do you want to add, or do you want to start empty? So, so do you want to add all the pages or do you want to start empty and create your own pages? Or do you want to start empty and add your own pages? So I'm gonna go with uh, add all pages. So currently I have sample page, okay? And I'm gonna add a couple more. I'm gonna add a couple more links. So, I'll open this in another screen. And notice it says empty template right now because we haven't saved anything. Our block template index.html is, is uh, not containing anything, right? So let's go back. I'm gonna add a couple of pages. Let's do about and let's also do contact us All right so once we save it it's going to start showing those pages as well so i'm going to leave that at the moment but just to let you know you can add another block over here you can add a link over here um, you know if you want it to go to an external page or if you want to it to go to a particular post, you have an option to add add that over here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that for now. Let's remove it. Remove it, okay. So that's our menu. So that's our header is complete. And now if you click on the update design over here, see what happens. So you've got an option of the template so now this is our template, which is your index template. This is our index template, index.html, which resides inside of block templates. And then we have got the header, which is the template part. If you click on it, select, you can see that it's selected. You can also 
go over here and you'll have to see that option. So let's save it. And I'm going to refresh the page and see what happens. The name is now changed to header because we renamed it from untitled template to from untitled template to header. And that's what it is now. And on the right hand side, now if you also select it, you can see that the template title is header, which is brilliant. Awesome. So you can see how simple it was to create menu and and you can see now it's also showing your about and contact us because it's a dynamic blog. So it keeps track of what's happening on your site. And if something has changed, it's pulling that information dynamically, right? Awesome. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayyad. And thanks to all the beautiful 644 people. Uh, who are following me and please do give a star to my repository as well my repository name is electra okay and this is where you'll get all of the code that we are discussing so in the next video we're going to do the footer so we're going to do the footer block template part okay then i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much